Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zatar Gardens. Uh, I just did a finish the video of thinning out my radishes. Um, I'm also going to think about doing another video, or at least doing it, the first time making a pesto out of the radish leaves. Regardless of that, I thinned out some radishes over here next to my sea berries or sea buckthorn plants. I have three of them. And uh, I always see it every day, but I never did a video of it, of the mycorrhiza or the mycelium uh, activity on the bark on the wood chips this is what it looks like so if you have wood chips in your garden you'll see this too if once you overturn them or after I pulled out you know radishes right here the wood chips that fell to the side were these so so that's uh that's what brings life that's the internet the web the internet web of the world is what they say that's what um that's, this is what I attest to how productive my garden is. I don't do anything, everyone. I don't, I don't weed. I don't, I mean, if I do weed, it's like five weeds a day, pulling out weeds. That's it. You know, I don't have to do anything. I mean, you could tell how clean it is. And where there's no wood chips, where there used to be none, the AC right here, there's weeds. But where I had a long time of wood chips, it keeps washing away if it rains here. But where I have wood chips, this is all summer savory. It's a zatar for a salad, right here, all that stuff. So there's there's no weeds. Um, wherever there's wood chips, that is. And uh, because of the wood chips, I retain moisture. Because of the wood chips, it becomes compost tea when it gets rained through like it did last night. I'm in Central California, Zone 9B. It rained heavily again. Um, so when it goes to these wood chips, it's taking the nutrients out of it you know, seeping it through like tea, you know, compost tea, and giving it to the plants. And on top of that, mycorrhiza or mycelium or, or fungus or mushrooms love this wood chip material and they love growing in it. And this is a, a great relationship between this type of uh, fungus, if this is the mycorrhiza one, this type of fungus with uh, plants because this fungus attaches to the roots of plants the plant gives it sugar and the uh, mycorrhizal fungus gives it um, the nutrients and water it needs so if it's barren land not in my garden but if it's barren in some spot it didn't get watered I forgot to water it the fungus will send water to that plant that didn't get watered and help it out in return get some of the plants sugar so pretty cool that's what they look like you probably have seen it before. You just didn't really know. You thought it was mold. You might have thrown it away. Who knows? Who knows? Not. I'm not uh, insulting your intelligence. It's just people see this like if they open up a soil bag and they see this kind of material, this white stuff all over the soil they just bought. They go, "Oh, this is bad." You know, some people may say, "No, that's actually good. It's good to have this material. This is what you want in your garden." So, all right, guys. See you later. Happy gardening. Bye.